Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hey, last uh, video that I put out, I mentioned that someone had um, commented that they wanted to send uh, or, or wanted me to wear more um, military unit t-shirts, hats, etc. Um, I only have so many because I was an engineer, a combat engineer, so I only have combat engineer stuff. Um, if you guys want to send me anything you want to wear to promote it on my YouTube channel, I will put my email in the description below. I, it is, it's, my email is in the about information on my YouTube page, but I don't think it's, it's visible and I don't know if there's a privacy setting that I'm missing, but I'm going to put my email in the description and you guys can contact me that way if you wanted to do that. But what I want to talk about today is Tlaib and Omar's press conference I think it was yesterday or the day before I watched it. I forced myself to watch it. It was about 35 minutes long, and it, it, it showed um, Ilhan Omar and Rashid Tlaib up on stage. I think they were in Minnesota. I think they were in Minneapolis, actually, in um, Omar's district. And she had, she had, sorry, my phone was going off. She had um, six or seven women standing behind her to support her statements regarding their recent denial into Israel. Now, I wanted to talk about this today because it's becoming more and more, more apparent to me, and maybe this is conspiratorial, but it seems to me that these two are some kind of like terrorist plants in Congress. I can't figure out how they got there. I don't know why people would elect them. Well, I know why. I, I, I can figure out why Tlaib got into office. Her district in Dearborn, Michigan is, is a hotbed for funding for terrorism. Back to Afghanistan, uh, Palestine, wherever, all, all over the Middle East. Um, and that is not just me saying that. I read a statement by the chief of police in Dearborn, Michigan, who said that, and I'm not quoting directly, but he's, he, I'm paraphrasing, he said that Dearborn, Michigan is a hotbed for financing of terrorism. Are you kidding me right now? How did the hell did this happen in the United States? Anyways. Or how are we allowing this to happen in the United States? Um, especially that police chief. He should be doing all he can to deter any of this. Maybe it's beyond his scope, but uh, let me let me go back. So Tlaib and Omar, I don't understand them. I mean, they are making they're making their denial into Israel more of an anti-Semitic cause in my opinion, than what it is. They had the opportunity to go over with the 71 other senators and congressmen who were there. Bipartisan, more Democrats than Republicans, and they all went to Israel to meet with and, and check out the um, Israeli government, etc., and, and kind of learn more about our relationship with Israel. But these two decide to go, oh no, we're, we're going to go on our own fact-finding mission. It's not a fact-finding mission anymore. It's a more of a, it's a cause. You're going over there to further your anti-Israel movement. And you can't be with the other senators and congressmen because that would make, that would make them look bad. Um, you want to be in the limelight. You want to, you want to promote your bullshit um, to the world. So they try to go over and I have a feeling that they knew that Israel was going to say, you're not coming in here because of that law. I mean, 2017, Israel made a law. And I said this in the last video that said, if you're part of BDS or you want to promote BDS, you want to promote anything anti-Israel, or if you're part of any of those groups, you're not welcome here. So you, you have to think that they knew this already. And they were just, they're just going over there and they're just, they're just getting in front of the cameras again, um, to try to, um, I don't know what the word is. They're trying to, trying to like 
energize some kind of movement in the United States. And, and it's always an emotional, <coughs> excuse me, it's always an emotional reaction with Democrats. It's never based in logic. So they try to do this stuff and get emotional. <coughs> Man, I apologize. <clears throat> if that was loud, <clears throat> I'm sorry. The uh, allergies are coming back because I'm getting into the into the almost fall season here in Connecticut, so <clears throat> different plans are coming back out. Anyways, um, but th they're trying to use emotion to <clears throat> energize people and go, "Oh my God, I feel really horrible. Maybe I maybe my thoughts are wrong." I mean, <clears throat> they're 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 crying and she couldn't see her grandma and. That's horrible. I, I don't know what to do. I mean, we, maybe she is right and we're wrong. No, that's a tactic. It's bullshit, but it's an emotional tactic that they're using. Um, so they're, they're up on stage and <clears throat> Omar's basically bashing the president, saying how much of a racist he is. And Netanyahu's like his little puppet in Israel. And he's doing whatever Trump says, and um, which is just complete. It's all a bunch of crap. And then Talib gets up there and she starts crying and saying, oh, I couldn't go see my grandma and I'm not a free woman. And even though I was elected to Congress, I'm still not free in this country. That's not true. <clears throat> you are definitely a free woman. And you wrote an email to the, I forgot what minister it was, the minister of information or whatever the hell he is in Israel who approves um, passports and visas. And he said, yeah, come on in, humanitarian, for uh, humanitarian reasons only, which is to go see your grandmother. You're not allowed to promote BDS. You're not allowed to do this. And she was like, yes, yes, yes. I agree to all of your your um, um, statements, and I will not promote um, anything regarding that. I just want to go see my grandmother because it's my last time. I don't know when I'm going to see her again. Ooh. Sob story, sob story, sob story. No. And then... So then she gets on TV and says, oh, I can't go because I'm not free. And um, uh, I don't want to, I'm, I'm not allowed there because um, they're putting restraints on my visit. Yeah, you're damn right they're putting restraints on your visit. You want to go see your grandmother. That's the reason you gave. He said, okay, here's a humanitarian visa. Go for it. Go see your grandmother. No, not good enough. She needs to make this political, make a statement. So... Everything that comes out of these two, two women's mouths is complete bullshit. Um, so then, what's even worse about this whole thing is there are a bunch of women behind them who are going to get up and speak, and I'm like, man, there's more um, hate speech going to come out of these ladies. Well, I think there were four, three or four of them that were back there, but I only saw three of them talk. And all three of them are Jewish. All of them. I'm like, wait a minute. How are these Jewish women supporting these known anti-Semites? How is this happening? Again, it goes back to the emotional response that is the Democrats' way of, of furthering their agenda. It's nothing based in logic or fact. It's all emotional. And for a for three Jewish women to get up on stage and support these anti-Semitic congresswomen, women, I couldn't believe what I was watching. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me that you are supporting these two assholes when they hate you. They, they, it's, they hate you. They've said it. They are anti-Semitic. Remember, it's all about the Benjamins, not about the money. No, anti-Semitic. And Talib said they were going to, whatever. I, I want to read something right now. Oh, so the, uh, for, let, me, let, me, let me go back for a second. So Talib also said that um, they're not allowed to go in and, you know, because we don't, the United States doesn't recognize Palestine as a state and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, no European Union countries do either, except for freaking Sweden and they're, jacked up look at look at what's going on in sweden right now with all these syrian refugees going in there raping and pillaging um all over the place you think they're having a great time right now with with uh with their um policies no so anyways 
We don't recognize them as a state. You know, I don't know why. Because part of their freaking government is Hamas, a known terrorist organization. They want to kill all the Jews. Here's a statement I'm going to read you from Hamas. This is from the deputy, deputy speaker of Hamas to in the Hamas parliament. Um, his name is Ahmad Bar. If the enemy sets foot on a single square inch of Islamic land, jihad becomes an individual duty incumbent on every Muslim, male or female. A woman may set out on jihad without her husband's permission and a servant without his master's permission. Why? In order to annihilate those Jews. O Allah, destroy the Jews and, and their supporters. O Allah, destroy the Americans and their supporters. O Allah, count them one by one and kill them all without leaving a single one. Are you kidding me? Talib, born and raised in Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn, Michigan. Hotbed for funding of terrorists. Hotbed for terrorist organizations. Hotbed for immigrants of the Middle East with these views. What do you think she actually thinks? Do you think that she's just a regular American? No, not at all. She is a fundamentalist, and now she's in Congress. And the only thing that we can do is hope and pray that the people in her district see her bullshit and vote her out. But I don't think that's going to happen because her district is predominantly Dearborn, Michigan, which is predominantly Middle Eastern people. I'm not saying they're all bad in Dearborn, Michigan, but there is a high percentage of people there who are either funding terrorists um, with their businesses or sending money over, etc., etc., etc. These two, yet again, and I, I, I keep hating to make videos about them, but they're they're not leaving me alone. They're 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 getting on my TV screen. They're getting in my news feed, and they're spewing their hate, and they're and they're just they're not going away. They're not going away. We need to vote them out. P please, people of Minneapolis and Dearborn, vote these two congressional terrorists out of office they need to go that statement i read sums it up perfectly that is who they are they want the destruction of america and all the jews in the world so they can just take over that is not how normal people want the world to be run we all want peace. We don't want war. We don't want jihad. We don't want all this crap that they're spewing. But these two who are, again, in the party of peace and love are spewing hate and jihad. And to have these other women behind them who are so freaking blind to what these two are doing, it blows my mind. I cannot believe that they had that these three Jewish women were up there supporting known anti-Semites who want the destruction of Israel. I got to... I mean, I don't have my, uh, my watch on that tells me my, my heart rate, but I can tell you what, I can feel my heart beating out of my chest right now because this, this fires me up. I think I need to go drink some water. It's too damn early in the morning for a beer. <laughs> so, anyways, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell your friends, if you do want to send over a military t-shirt or hat or whatever, let me know, i am put my email in the description, and always remember to stay on the right side. Have a great day.